All right, so now I can get into my actual video now that I'm done talking about the dumb bitch. Uh, what we're gonna start with is first of all, you know, I told you about the content thing. It's not easy to come up with good content. You gotta understand, for me to come up with a lot of content means that I have to sometimes not be able to put up like a really, really awesome video, let's say, but I still put it up because I wanna put the content up. Now, I, I'm going back to true life. I had nothing in my mind. I thought I'd go watch one of his old interviews. I watched the old beef video and I watched the very new video of him uh, last, year, last year's spring. He's in the waiting, uh, he's in a private um, airport terminal or something waiting for a private jet. He's going on a private jet to go party and shit. You know, he's got his girl with him. The, he, he doesn't show her face, but the girl's dressed up really nice. He's got this amazing, crazy, expensive bag. And he's got all this crazy jewelry on him, wrist and everything, you know, everything. So I thought I'd talk about that. Now, first of all, so I went back and watched his beef video with Mob Deep, you know, and there's, there's this one word that he uses. And I've heard him use this word in some of his songs, too. He calls it funny style nigga, you know. And his old beef with Mob Deep was that they treated him like a funny style nigga. Yeah, I mean, he felt like he should have gotten treated better than that. Now, he was probably, I'm telling you, this guy was probably eager to work with Mob Deep. You know, he was probably thinking that working with Mob Deep is going to bring him so much gangster cred. And, 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 and you know what? I'm going to push the limits. He may have even been trying to use Mob Deep a little bit, thinking that, you know, with, with, with their listeners and their influence in the gangster hip hop world, and, you know, would kind of like, yeah, he could use them because... He was actually living a gangster lifestyle as well, like a real gangster lifestyle. So he could kind of use them to promote himself. You know what I mean? And I know True Life is that kind of dude. But anyways, you know, he, he says a funny style, nigga. Meaning that, you know, he made a track, he made a record, right, with Prodigy, which is pretty much the same as making a re record with Mob Deep, especially at that time when they were that young. You know, he had Prodigy and he had someone named Cool G. I don't know who that is, but I've heard of him. Now, they did that song, When You're a Thug, right? And, and, and you know, unfortunately, Prodigy took that same verse, spat out another song, published that song, meaning that True Life couldn't publish his song, right? So at this point, you know, True Life is not just insulted by Prodigy and Havoc, he's insulted by whoever Mob Deep is running with and whoever Mob Deep's people are. Thinking, you know, your people fucked me on my record that I can't post now. You know what I mean? And it couldn't have just been the two of you because the two of you are rappers. Definitely you're part of it. Definitely you 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 acted on it, but you got people in you that, that, that did that. So now I got a problem with your whole fucking clique now, not just you and Havoc. You know what I mean? Cause a funny style nigga. You know, because he tried calling them. So he was trying to get in contact with them. He called them once, called them twice, called them three times. And then it was like, what the fuck, man? Fuck this shit. And that's when these guys ran into the studio. You know, Jizza was there. Um, the guy, uh, DJ Muggs from Cypress Hill was there. There was another guy there. Um, um, and, and, the, and the whole Mob Deep clique was there in New York. And these guys ran in, robbed them, left the niggas naked and walked out. You know what I mean? They left the niggas naked. You know, they robbed them to the point that they had no clothes on. And then they walked out. No, 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 it's not completely naked. They were wearing boxers, but you, you get what I'm saying. Like, they took their pants and all that shit they had on, you know, and, 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 um, and then, you know, True Life also says that, you know, we're, you know, we're not, we're wilding for a reason. He also spits a verse there, you know, and it's, and it's pretty powerful. He spits a verse. I'm telling you, he had some, he had some oomph on that. You know what I mean? You know, like the way when, 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 uh, when, uh, Baseball batter just mm, hits the ball. He had that kind of oomph on it. You know what I mean? That that little freestyle he put on was was pretty strong, man. It, it had kick to it. So um, he had that in the beef video that he says, you know, we're walling out for a reason. We're not just doing it because it's stupid and fun. Like, I mean, this is some serious shit these guys are doing. You know, this was a very big insult. You know, so, um, so I got that. Now, going forward with this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about who he became and who he was. And I can tell you that money was very important to True Life. Always, you know, money was very important to him. Um, and he was a real gangster, definitely he was a real gangster. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. I don't know, I, I, I've seen some more of his videos and he kind of, um, and I heard some of his songs and stuff. And like, he doesn't really, you know, he, he doesn't, he, 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 he goes hard, but he has a limit. Yeah, I mean, he'll go hard, but he only go this hard. You know what I mean? 
He's not willing to go harder than that. So he, he'll do whatever he needs to do. He'll do interviews. He'll talk to different people who are supposed to be important. He'll hang out with famous people, uh, uh, athletes or, or, or musicians. He'll hang out with them. You know what I mean? Probably even new politicians, man. Who knows? You know, but he's hanging out with all these people and, and he likes that shit. And he likes acting like, um, like he, he thinks he's, uh, he, according to him, he's, he's hard, he's gangster, you know, but he's rich at, at the same time. But he has status and he likes it. And he doesn't like guys who take being hard to a whole nother level to that's who they are. You know what I mean? He doesn't like the type of dudes that, that were born that way, that are that way. And I don't like little, even a little bit of disrespect. Um, you know, did I word that correctly? I don't know. I mean, you, you tell me I didn't plan this or write this, so it may not have been written, you know, all that well or, or said all that well. Um, now, where am I going with this really? You know, um, I'm not, I don't want to get into the guy's life because if, if I start commenting, that's, that's some of his recent life. So I'm not going to get into it, but I will say that there are a lot of people like that today. You know, Dubai drip, they call it Dubai drip. Now I'll tell you, man, Dubai, there's not really a whole lot of taste there. If you don't believe me now, now yesterday, I was actually very interested. I said, you know what? I went on money kicks. Uh, uh, uh I searched money kicks on YouTube. Who's the most popular Dubai kid in YouTube, rich kid. And, um, I go to like his oldest video, like his first video and then his earliest videos. And I'm looking at the shoes that he's showing. Honestly, the shoes are ridiculous. I don't mean good, they're horrible. They're horrible. Every pair of shoe he has, he's paid like two grand for them. You know, American, like $2,000 American probably, or a thousand, at least a thousand American for every shoe. And the funny thing is he shows his top five shoes, which are barely all right. And I'm thinking to myself that you paid you paid, dude, you paid that much money to get decent style shoes or all right, shoes that it comes, I consider all right, you know? And, and that's the Dubai drip, you know, these guys, you know, money is, is it, it, money has got to them. You know what I mean? Money has got, it's like Dubai took the, uh, the you know, the American $1 bill with the pyramid and the eye and, and in God we trust and all that stuff and, you know, all this, you know, symbology and everything, how money is God and all that, you know, Dubai takes it to a whole other level. To Dubai, money is not God, but money is religion. Money is water. We're living in a desert. Money is our water. We'll kill for money any day, man. You know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? You fuck with my money, I'm going to kill you kind of thing. And they're very serious about that. You know, some of these guys can even go soft. You know, they can go to jail, they can go soft or, or they get into beef and they go soft or whatever and they'll still kill over money. Uh, they don't care how soft they are, you know, and, 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 and they'll make jokes and call it's dudes that think they're hard. They call them things like, you know, um, soft, soft rocks or something like that. Soft, um, 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 soft concrete. I don't know, soft cement. I don't know, whatever, whatever they call guys. And, you know, to them, it's like, you know, um, a lot of other things are cool, but you fuck with my money and I'm going to kill you kind of thing. Right. And I'm not talking about the Indians and Pakistanis who kill over like $20. You know what I mean? I'm talking about like, I'm talking about, I'm talking about guys, you know, uh, this guy fucked me out of like. 10% out of, out of some deal, which is a lot of money, I'm a fucking killer. You know what I mean? I'm a fucking killer. You know, that's the kind of, um, that's, a, that's how they are. But, but at the same time, you know, it's all about money. Everything's, you, you can't base everything on money, man. But listen, I'm not against money, but you know, you know, money is supposed to enhance or, or be used as a tool. Yeah, I mean, if I have no taste and I'm a loser, my money is going to, it's going to be this. I'm just going to be somebody with no taste and a loser who has money. Yeah, I mean, um, so yeah, I did want to point that out. But uh, again, I'm not specifically saying that true life is, you know, um, 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 he's a loser. Yes, he doesn't have taste. I'm not saying any of that. Um, I just feel like... Um, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. But but the reason I got into it was, was for the whole funny style nigga thing. Yeah, I mean, nobody likes that. And, and I'll tell you why. So when you have, when you have somebody, you know, uh, whether they started at zero or they started at a hundred, 
when somebody's at a certain level and you treat them like that much, even though knowing that they are genuinely here, their caliber, their level, um, um, outside of even who they are out there, but everything put into proportion. If they're here and you treat them like this, they're not gonna be happy about it. Believe me, man. If they're here and you treat them like this, it's not a good, it's not a good look and it's not a good thing. Now you gotta understand that sometimes we don't beef as individuals. It's not an individual beef. You know, somebody called them and go, oh, I'm a, I'm a billionaire in Qatar or Kuwait or, or Dubai. I'm a, I'm a billionaire and I say you're a fucking loser. I want you to do a video on YouTube and say that you're a fucking loser. <laughs> but I'm like, hold up, hold up. That's not how it, exactly it works. Because you gotta, you gotta deal with like a community of people before you do something like that. You know, you deal with, you, you, oh, well, this guy's only worth what, five million? I'm worth a billion? You know, that guy, it doesn't work like that. You don't just go in and start bullying guys because you got a little bit more money or, or a lot more money even. It doesn't work like that. You know, you're dealing with a type of guy and you're dealing with his community at that point. You know what I mean? And when you when you have community of people, everybody, you know, the community can have a billionaire billionaires in their community. So when you take on that that role and you and you do that, you know, you're dealing with more than just one guy or one individual. It doesn't really work like that. You see, if I was always in the wrong community, you know what I mean, and I wasn't representing myself, you know what I mean? Um, or, or I was putting something else above myself that I was not, that wouldn't be a good look for me and that wouldn't do shit for me because at the end of the day, I'd be left as an individual because I'd be an individual without anything and, and not even repping myself, which means I'm repping for something else, which means I'm not doing anything for myself and I'm left as an individual, easy to pick on. But at this point, you're dealing with the whole community of people and we have all kinds of people in our community. And most likely, if you were to hear that, you will say, well, I got a community too. And if you're stupid enough, you'll press that gas. So anyways, I'm done. And that was my video.